Today's video is very, very exciting because it's one of my favorite videos to film and probably um, the video that you guys seem to enjoy the most and that is a college bedroom tour. So this year is my senior year of college and I'm living in a bedroom in a home that we're renting in my college town and I'm very excited to have a house and to have my own bathroom and things like that um, but I did want to show you guys my bedroom and I am going to be calling this a dorm room just because it's a little more complicated to say um, my bedroom in the house that I'm renting um, so it is going to be called a dorm room tour but like I said this is just a bedroom in a house in my college. It's like a younger theme and it's bright and it just makes me happy to come back here after a long day of classes and then I'll also be showing my desk and things which are very tailored to a college student so I would consider this a dorm tour that's what I'm going to be calling it in this video at least. If you haven't checked out my first dorm tour which was my last year my junior year of college dorm tour um, in an actual dorm room I will link that right here if you're on a computer or I'll link it in the description bar just go click that link um, it's kind of in the same theme but I brought in a lot of different decor and some decorations and it's of course set up differently than what my dorm room was so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the way that I've decorated I'm super proud of this room it makes me so happy I love the color scheme and I of course love the little touches of Lily Pulitzer so I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do and let's go ahead and get into looking at my bed. Okay, so this is what is hanging on the outside of my door. Um, you probably seen this in my dorm door. This is a little dark right here. Um, it's just this little song that says keep your head heels and stay your tie and it's hanging on this little gold deer head. So when you open the door to my bedroom, this is what the room looks like. Just a little, I had to close the curtain because it was a little bit dark, but this is what an overview of the room looks like from standing outside of the door. So when you first walk in, my bed and this window and my favorite piece of furniture, this beautiful turquoise dresser, are all on this wall. So I'm going to go ahead and get into everything that's in the room in detail. It's definitely a tiny uh, space, so everything's kind of jam-packed in here. So. so on this first wall, as you walk in, um, I'm going to show you guys the sitting area. I have this really pretty little uh, wall decal that says, Live Simply, Love Extravagantly. It's really cute. And then when you back up from that, on the same wall beside the door is this little sitting area. And I have this little mushroom chair sitting here. It's just a really pretty tan color. And underneath it, I have a little turquoise like knotted rug. It's really, really cute. And I have my little well throw and the pillow that was in my dorm tour, the first one. I painted that pillow actually. And the well throw is from TJ Maxx. Then beside of that, I have this little cube sitting here. And this is a little storage cube. I'm going to be using it for extra seating or a footrest. And then I'm also going to put my shoes in it when I want to store some of my winter shoes. It's just this really pretty peach suede color. And it was about $20 from Walmart. Sitting on top of that, I have a little DIY Lily coaster. If you're interested in how I made that, um, I do have a video. So go check that out on my channel. I also have a little candle sitting there and then a picture of my really cute boyfriend Dean in this gold picture frame. So that is what this little area looks like. And like I said, this little wall decal is like right above that. So I'm trying to figure out if the lighting is better with the window open or closed, but I'm going to open it for this part. So this corner of the room, right beside that chair, has this really beautiful piece of furniture. Um, my grandmother actually gave this to me, and it's like a really pretty aqua with like distressing of white and like a darker brown. And then we went ahead and attached this really nice like large white mirror to the top of it so that I have like a vanity area to get ready and then it's also large enough that I can pretty much use that for a floor length mirror. So I have quite a few things on the little vanity top. The first thing that I have is this little bucket that was actually in a dorm tour um, that we used to, I think it had apples in it in my first dorm tour. Um, then I have this little white macaroon I showed in a home decor haul recently if you want to go check that out. I also have this really pretty white marble cutting board and I'm going to use this for my heat utensils when I'm fixing my hair, like curling or straightening it so it doesn't burn the wood and it'll be a little bit safer. My friend Jenna got me this really cute ring holder. It's a little flower and it's copper so I of course loved it. I think it's so cute sitting on this. And then right here I just have a few room sprays. I have two for Bath and Body Works, a cotton and a mahogany antique wood. 
And then I have this one from my favorite, the candle lady, um, as I call her. Um, it's Gigi's Candles. She makes soybean candles and fragrances. And this one's Toasted Marshmallow. She has a Facebook page, so if you want to check her out, definitely do, because I really love that room spray. Then going on over here to the other side, I have another picture of Dean and I in this aqua and gold frame. I have two more coasters that I made of the Lily Pulitzer coasters. And then I have a little pink macaroon and I have my little white makeup mirror that I sit here um, because that is what I use when I do my makeup on a daily basis. So that is kind of a overview of this area. I think it's really, really cute. I love that piece of furniture. So now right beside that piece of furniture, I have my little nightstand and it is very, very cute. It's just a little small cream colored nightstand. On the top of this, I have the little Lily Pulitzer um, tray that I DIY'd. I just mod podge that out of old Lily pages. And then I have my little um, desk fan. This is the same one I used last semester in my dorm, but I just put the base on it instead of the clip on part. I have this really pretty lamp. It's the same lamp from that dorm tour. And it's a white shade and a gold lamp base. And I have my alarm clock. And that's all I have on the top. So it's really clean. But that's everything I need. Then going down here, I don't have anything in that drawer actually yet. I'll probably put chargers there. Under here, I have two little candles that I DIY'd in the Lily Pulitzer pattern. I have another coaster. I have um, a flashlight, um, some pepper spray, <laughs> a little pink stun gun in that case. And then I also have some backups of sweet pea wallflower refills. Then on the window right above that, I pulled the blind so that hopefully y'all can see this. Um, I just have, I think it's just two panels of a white sheer curtain and I'm pretty sure those are from the Family Dollar. If not, they are from Walmart. Then I have this little banner which is from Hobby Lobby and they actually still have it. I just seen it there the other day. So that is what that little area beside of my bed looks like. Then we go over to my bedding, which is really cute, but very similar to the dorm. I just really liked my bed in the dorm room, so I didn't feel the need to change it too much. Above the bed, I have this really pretty rose gold, gold spray painted K that's just hanging there. Um, my bed is just a white headboard and then a bed frame, but I think it's really cute and nice and simple. As far as my pillows, in the back, I have a large pillow that you can lean back against, which is from Walmart, just in a cream color. Then I have um, my coral pillowcase that matches the comforter that I have at the foot of my bed, and it is from the dorm tour as well. Then I have a white pillowcase, and I have this new Lily Pulitzer pillowcase that I purchased. I think it's really cute. It's in the Jelly's BJ Men pattern, and it's like a satin pillowcase, but it's really cute and adds a little bit more Lily to my room with a different touch or something, just to kind of change it up from the dorm a little bit. And then I have this throw pillow that I DIY'd and a pillow that says hit snooze. For the main part of the bed, I just have this white quilt, which was from um, Cynthia Rally brand, I'm pretty sure, from Marshalls. And then I have the comforter that matches those two pillows at the foot, and it was from Big Lots. So that is just kind of an overview of what the bedding looks like. I love it. It's simple and bright and just super pretty. Um, on the floor, I just have a tan... Um, I think it's a 5 by 7 rug and it's like a short haired rug and it's just from Walmart just to kind of make it a little bit cozier and it matches the wall colors. So as you go over from this wall from my bed, this wall is very empty. I don't know if I should do anything with it yet. I just don't know. I kind of like it empty because I do have a lot of pattern. So as you go to this corner, this is my closet door. Right here by the door, I have a little peg thing hanging with some baseball hats. I just have like a New Balance one, a UK one, and a Simply Southern hat there. And then here is my closet door. I have my purse hanging on the handle. And I'll show you guys in here, um, but it's not finished. So, just don't mind the mess because it's not done yet. Up here I have two aqua shelving units which will probably be put in the floor. Um, the one has medicine and stuff in the bottom then I have underwear and things like that and then some light bulbs and just like some kind of random stuff that I packed out of my dorm. And then over in this corner I have some Windex, some wrinkle release spray, an extra sheet set, a blanket, and two laundry baskets for when I'm sorting out laundry. And then I have all these huggable hangers which are the best hangers ever. 
I think I got all of mine from Burks. I'm pretty sure you can get them from Walmart. They always have them at Marshalls. And we are my clothes, and I had them like ready to bring down here today um, because I finished putting everything in my room so I could film this, and I actually forgot the clothes, which was like the main reason for coming. Uh, but yeah, they will of course be here. Um, down here, I have a little uh, hamper that I bought at Walmart today. Actually, it was like eight dollars, but it's just pretty and aqua. I have this little tub that is just a coral color with some shoes in it. I have a toolbox. I have my um, step ladder, which definitely comes in handy. I have a little aqua broom. And then I have two accessory hangers. So that's everything in the closet. It's not finished. I need to bring clothes. I need to organize those two um, drawer sets. But it's definitely a nice little closet. And it's nicer than the armoire that I was using in my dorm. So that is it for the closet. So as you cover my closet, here is my desk area, which is another favorite area of mine for this room. I love it so much. Um, up top here, I have two canvases that I DIY'd. I just painted in like lily pattern on the one, and then on the other one I did a pineapple. And I wanted to keep those in here because they're a little touch on my dorm, and I just liked them. I thought they were really pretty. Right here I have a little gold antelope head and I just have some like headbands hanging on that. But I got that at Hobby Lobby for $2.50. So a really, really good deal. And I just really like those little like deer heads and antelope heads for some reason. Then I have this court board and I got this little sign just randomly that says don't grow up. It's a trap. But I think that's really funny because that's how I feel about college sometimes. And then I got this pennant, um, the gray thing that's hanging there. It says home and it's got a little Kentucky sign on it. And that is from the brand State of Mine, M-I-N-E. Really, really cute. I like that. And then I, of course, have some pictures of like my boyfriend, my friends, and my family. So that's all I have on that. And then I do have a little desk calendar hanging here because I like to have a full-size calendar. And I just pinned it there. It's cute. It matches my stuff. But... It's easy just to glance up at and see like the day of the month and stuff like that. So for what is on the desk, there is quite a few things. This first thing is like this gold file folder um, holder and I got this at Burke's. It was black and I just spray painted it gold. So in it, I have some really, really cute file folders. I have this one that says treat yourself and it's black and white striped. Um, there's a few of those. Then there's some that say sparkle and shine and they're pink and gold. And then there's some white and gold polka dots. And then like some chevron, just really cute file folders that I've got in there. Then I also have my power strip back in here. Um, and this little cup holder has some random things. This is a little head massager. And I actually use this like so much, especially when I'm like doing homework and stuff. So I kind of just like shoved it down in here. And then I also have a back scratcher. I got both of these from Walmart during the Christmas season. They were in like the little gadget aisle, but honestly, they come in handy a lot. I have a little thing of hand sanitizer, and then I just have some vitamins. I also have another little Lily coaster here. I have tons of these in my room. This one says Leaf It to Lily. Really cute. Then right here, I have another coaster with my cup setting on it, and I just have a little Lily Flip to monogram on that. And then I also have a little deck of cards that actually came with um, my mom's agenda that she bought this year that we just set in here because it was cute. So I have this little tub. This is from Walmart. I think it was with the back to school, back to college stuff. And I put tons of pens and highlighters in it. And then I have a mason jar with like my cuter pens and highlighters. I also have my jumbo agenda from Lily Pulitzer. This is in the Southern Charm pattern and I love it. It's just so pretty. And I have a little scotch um, tape dispenser that's like a little martini glass with a lime on it. So cute. And then I have this brushed copper lamp with like a white marble base. It's beautiful. I was going to turn it on, but you can't see the stuff on the desk as good. But it's really pretty. My boyfriend bought me this actually. And I think that it was originally from Target. I will show a little overview of what's in the desk. Um, my desk chair is just like an office chair. And I put this throw over it. It's like a um, chenille like bedspread that's a really pretty coral and white. My boyfriend's parents actually gave that to me. It matched perfect. And then under here I have a little white trash can with my monogram on it, of course. Gotta have that. So in this top drawer, I have this little um, holder that has like three slots. In here I have gold stick pins so that I can use for my court board. 
And then I also have some um, paper clips and binder clips and then just some random stuff in there. I have another little room spray here. It's from Walmart, I believe, and it's in coconut waters. It smells really good. Then back in here, I have some school supplies, index cards, sticky notes, stylus pens, ink pens, highlighters, just things like that. Useful school items. Um, in this next drawer, it's kind of not organized, but I'm just going to show you guys anyway. I have um, some whiteout. I have tons of sticky notes and page flags and things like that. A couple hair bows, a pair of older headphones, um, stapler, scotch tape, hole punch, and washi tape. So it's just kind of a large assortment of stuff. Then in this drawer, I have like tons of these little, like really cute tablets, but that I really don't use all that often. They're like the really pretty ones that are up around the checkout and like Marshalls and stuff. I have two calculators and I actually DIY'd this one in a Lily Pulitzer pattern. And if you want to check that out, I have a video on my channel. It's an older video. Um, I'll try to link all of the Lily Pulitzer inspired and themed videos that I do have on my channel in the description box of this video. But this was a really easy DIY and it's so cute. This is just a little financial calculator. And then I have my pink um, Texas Instruments TI-30. It's just like a generic calculator. And I have a little three-hole punch. And then this bottom drawer is like full of stuff because I have all my tablets and like full size books. I'm not going to go through all that but it's just a ton of folders, tablets, and then also the little clip for my fan in case I want to use the clip again. So that is everything for my dorm room tour, my college bedroom tour if you want to call it that. Um, I really love this room. I love the bright colors. It's just definitely my style. Um, I really like coming back to a room that makes me happy after I've been in class all day. And I know I got some comments on my first dorm tour saying that it was kind of like a young themed room. And yeah, I'm a senior in college, I'm 21, but honestly, this is like the last time in my life I feel like I can really decorate in these bright, bold colors. And like I said, they just make me happy. So that's what I like to do my room in so that when I come back, I'm in a space that I really love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this dorm tour. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please check out my other one and I hope I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching.